What is going on, my fancy friends? My name is Dan, and welcome back to Press Start on the Fancy Hatch channel. This week on the show, we're going to be continuing where we left off with Uncharted 4 crushing gameplay. We're currently on Chapter 12. This chapter is called At Sea. So join me as we press start and play some Uncharted 4. Nathan? Yeah. Land ho. Think about that, huh? That's pretty cool. Take the wheel for a second. All this running around, surviving by the skin of our teeth. I think we've actually taken a moment. We need to step back and appreciate just how far we've come. Huh? Sick Parvis Magna. Sick Parvis Magna. Yeah. Sick Parvis Magnum. Listen, little brother. She will get over it. I mean, we bring back a treasure like that, anyone would. I don't know. Maybe I've uh, done this one too many times. Yeah. Huh. Somehow I imagined it <clears throat> bigger. Yeah, well, we're definitely in the right place. I'll find us a spot to set ashore. All right, looks like we're time to boat around a little bit here. I mean, I gotta say, it's great to be back. Oh, I mean, at least there's an island, right? <laughs> yeah, at least there's an island. <laughs> Just keep an eye out for anything man-made. Ah, you mean pirate made? <laughs> sure. I forget how much they like to talk in this game, which I'm not against. I think it's great. So maybe Libertalia is more of a small beachside shack. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it's a tree house. <laughs> maybe Avery spent his entire fortune setting up this treasure hunt and ran out of money to actually build the battalion. Yeah. <laughs> Drake is so like, yeah, well, whatever, whatever. You got yourself into this, buddy. Sam, let's check this out. Sounds good to me. I did run around in here a little bit before, making sure that all my settings and whatnot were accurate since we had a couple weeks off. Supplies from an earlier expedition. Huh. Okay. What do you got there? Burns. Holy crap, Sam. This was written by Burns' grandson. Well, it makes sense. The cross in Panama was hollow. Must be following the same clues as us. I wonder what this guy's story was. Huh? Dead men tell no tales. I was gonna say earlier, it's great to be back. It's great to be back filming Press Start. I have not, um... I've not actually beaten this game yet. This crushing gameplay that I do every week is as far as I've gotten. So I still have no idea how the game ends. Or anything like that. So I'm actually looking forward to getting further into the story now. Been thinking about it for a couple weeks, actually. Ready to go? Yeah. Let's do this. Nathan, up there. Okay. Those crabs? That's pretty cool. Let's find a way up to that tower. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I do enjoy all the exploration, but thus far the pacing of this game has been really slow, considering we're into chapter 12 and we've only really had one or two like, major gunfights. Look at this guy. Whoa, wonder what this guy did. Uh, well, maybe he wouldn't stop singing in sea shanties. Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> The story is really good, but the pacing is very slow, so we'll see. Definitely I'm ready for some more action, though. And look at these waves. The footprints in the sand and everything else, too. Although, once again, the transition from uh, 60 frames per second playing the multiplayer to 30 frames per second is jarring and noticeable. Because I play the multiplayer quite a bit with the uh, Ultra Fly. And when you switch back, it's like, it's a huge difference. Makes me wish they put this out on PC. Uh, let's take the obvious path. You can see the boat. And the little bay here. It's pretty sweet looking. Come on, Sam. Looks like an old lookout tower. Well, let's see if we can spot something from up there. Explore a little bit so we don't miss anything obvious. Okay, up we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> a little bit of. Uh... Gotta calm down. Calm down, Nathan Drake. Calm down! Alright. With his inhuman upper body strength. An unending lack of fatigue. This way. Pretty classic. Let's jump out the window to see where we go next. Oh, let's climb up. Oh, buddy, come on. I said calm down. <laughs> this looks promising. Kind of symbol. Not a good way to go. <laughs> a chevron arrow. I wonder if it's actually pointing somewhere. It's like a compass arrow. <laughs> How did you know to do that? Well, if there's one thing I've learned from you, press everything. <laughs> Down there, the same symbol. Another arrow. Let's go find out where it's pointing, huh? <laughs> Come on. Boat's right below us. Yep. You know, it's it's strange. Drake is uh, Nathan Drake is clearly clearly in a conundrum here, where he's got a conflict of his morals. He wants to help his brother. He wants to abide by his treasure-seeking side. You know, this is part of who he is. 
He's got this excitement, but he's also pissed. You can see it. You can feel it in the voice acting. It's excellent. It's really well done. And, you know, just the fact that you can see it in his face is just a testament to the state of modern graphics, too. All right, so this arrow is pointing off this direction. So we're going to go that direction. Let's follow these arrows, see where they go. In case we hadn't figured that out yet. Hey, look. Another arrow over there. Yeah, let's see what's on the shore first, though. I'm gonna take a look around. You wanna come? Of course I wanna come. Hey, look up there. It's like a pulley system or something. I don't see a way up, though. Where are you seeing that, Sam? Oh. No, but I'm betting that's a hint on where we gotta go. All right, let's stick with following the arrows. Sam, let's go. All right, little brother, let's do it. The treacherous waters. Okay, here's an arrow. It looks like that one's pointing to that cave over there. Secret cave, stairs. This looks promising. Okay. Jesus, Nathan, watch it. <laughs> Just ram the boat into stuff. Found this place. The whole thing would be a tourist attraction. Okay. Not getting up this way. I want to take a brief moment to point out the fact that you can see the reflection. Uh, what about this big pillar in the middle of the cave? That looks climbable. Oh yeah. Yeah, that could work. That's what I'm going to do. But first, look at the water. You can see the reflection of the of the water on the roof of the caves. Like the sunlight is coming in and reflecting off the water onto the roof of the caves. And I don't know if that's an effect or if that's just the graphics engine and the lighting and how it's but it's impressive. We're going to have to use the boat for this. What's that door right there, though? Uh, we'll come back to it. Here we go. You got it. Look it at all the bird shit. What? Climbing this cliff? Yes, climbing this cliff on a giant secret pirate island. I mean, come on. That's disgusting. <laughs> right. Well, I think it's pretty damn cool. Just a little higher. We can swing off that branch. L1. <laughs> All right. Back in business. Okay, hold on. Just gotta not fall to my death over here. Oh, oh. 
Not worried about you, Sam. You'll teleport behind me eventually. Wow, Avery wasn't much for subtlety or understatement, was he? Well, he had the money. You got it, flown it, right? Come on, let's get a closer look. Oh, look. The main entrance is blocked by debris. Again. Well, I guess Avery's builders clearly didn't take hundreds of years of erosion into account. Clearly. <laughs> Gonna need to find another way around. Making it pretty obvious. Hey, Sam. Come on. Come on, yeah. Sam. Yeah, sure. Mass triangle, Sam. Mash it! Okay, come on through. Thank you. Sure thing. Jeez. There's lots of lifting and crawling under things, huh? <laughs> the glamorous life of a treasure hunter. Okay. There's that arrow we saw earlier, but we're not going to go that way. At least not yet. What do you suppose this place was? These arches remind me of the St. Dismas Cathedral, but uh, I don't know. Oh, rope bridge up there. Yes, it is. All right. Come on. See what you can find up there. You got it. Well, there's a path. But I don't see another way up yet. So, hold on. <laughs> Run, bitch! You okay? At least I'm on the other side. Okay. Uh, still need to get you up here. Hang tight. Sam! Anything? <clears throat> Sam, hey! You still there? <sighs> God damn it. Oh, worry about it. There's clearly a path. Let's see here. I ruined my marriage. Drove my best friend away. Got two psychos in their army after me. <clears throat> You're already up here? Where were you? It's finding a way to get you up here. All right, just jump across then. Thanks. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Let's keep going. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's where I tried to go. Couldn't find a way through though. Right, there's something to hook onto right here. Let's try to see where we're going. Nice view. You didn't hear me? When? Back there. I called out to you. I didn't hear you. Why were you worried? I was worried you got distracted. <laughs> I'm distracted now. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Shall we? Yeah, let's. A bunch of assholes. You're out of bow! Anything? Hang on a sec. Sam! No good, it's a dead end. Ah, 
Well, at least they told me, so I didn't waste a bunch of time. You know, besides the time I wasted figuring out it was a dead end to begin with. Oh, wait a minute. Let me... hang on. Now what? There's gotta be a way across. Yeah! Aha! Please grab the ledge. Come on, dude. We all know that's where I'm supposed to go. Just grab the ledge next time for me. Save us a little time. Maybe I can jump off a little closer. Oh, Jesus. Let's try that one more time. There's a path down here. Great, right behind you. Just a self-reminder, and a reminder to anybody else, to save yourself that life and wait for Drake to reach out. Even if you know you can make the jump, if he's not reaching like that, he's not going to grab it. Probably could reach that cliff, but I want to see what's over here. Come on, buddy! No. No. Nice job! Sam, in here. Got it. <laughs> I'm the only person I know who can fail at magnetic platforming. You know what it is? It's because I'm really... It looks like we're still on the right I'm track. really, really bad at rope swinging. Like, I'll kill myself in, in multiplayer. I'll be the top of the scoreboard. Literally be the, be the highest scoring player on any given team. In any given match, but I will I will absolutely fail at <laughs> rope swinging. <laughs> How the hell did no one find this? Is that that is? Look at that. That's where we started. That's where Sam pushed the original Chevron in. Oh, hey. Give me the shiny. So back at the orphanage, did you ever think we'd be doing crazy shit like this? No, I can't say I did. Looks like we're heading down. Careful. And do some sliding here, huh? Only one thing to do. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nothing, huh? Oh, well. Oh! That worked out. 
Get your ass kicked by mud and rocks. That is the second biggest cistern I've ever seen. Wait, wait, where was the biggest? I'll tell you later. Come on, let's get down there. Slide, jump, swing. Sam, come around this way. Holy shit! <laughs> All right. You doing okay? Yeah. Piece of cake. There we go. Come on down and join me, brother. Jesus. Look at this place. We're getting in there. Let's just lift it together, all right? Okay. Okay, let's do this. Oh, come on, this is heavy. Just think about all that treasure. Yeah, mostly just thinking about my back. <sighs> Shit. Whoa. Well, looks like we got ourselves another trial. That sure looks like it. See what these do. Okay. So Nothing. Symbols on the spheres don't match the ones in the light. Okay. The light side. I get it. Ah, oh, crap. I moved the wrong one. Okay. Al Basra character. Uh, he was a Mongol. The soldiers on the guns were. What's he doing teaming up with Avery? Stories have it he was taken to be executed, but he got freed during the battle and blew up the guns with his gun cash. Grateful Avery brought him on? Exactly. What about that other guy? That he started as a nobody? Here's some swords. Oh, it's gonna move both of them? When's that? Well, there you go. Now you just gotta get him into the lights. Got it. Here we go again. We got to see Joseph Farrell, William Mays, Tariq Ben Malik, and. Eight out of twelve. Hey look, symbols on the ring are constantly rotating. Devious. 
Bin Malik guy. It's Moorish. Uh, yeah, that he is. What's he doing so far from the Barbary Coast? Same as us. Coming to where the action is. Does this one line up? Not quite. Let's get this one right first. Okay. okay. Gotta track how far off they are when they're in the light. This one shouldn't spin here. Ah, oh, my fight just a bit. That should be it. Ah, one more rotation. <laughs> I think you got it. <laughs> and the last of our crew. Richard Watt, Edward England, and Thomas too. Sam. Look, so that's where we're going. Well, wait, wait, wait a minute. That's only 11 pirates. We're missing our star pirate. Uh-huh. It's kind of weird. It's a weird effect. Let's see. Okay, where to now? Shit. He's your missing Avery statue. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to get the feeling that our friend was a bit of a narcissist. You think? <laughs> yeah. Let's go see what he's got in store for us. Oh, that's, uh, that's a long way down. So, Nathan, and be honest with me, how does this stack up, you know, compared to your other adventures? <laughs> Ask me again when we finish. The storm is rolling in. Snap. Sweet. Wow, right, look at the now. water too. Getting stormy, the waves are coming in. Like it's it looks pretty legit. Right back to the boat. How convenient. Hey, now this exit over here is open. Once again, very convenient. I hope you're in the boat, Sam. Okay. Island with monstrous Avery statues to the right. I'm so excited, my hand. My hands are literally shaking. Yeah, I know the feeling. It's either that or I just, you know, I need another cigarette. Maybe a little bit of both. Like he's got a spyglass, but he's not really looking through it. Maybe he wants us to look through it. Treasure Island, eat your eye. Come on, 
Sam. Oh, no, no, no. no you do the honors. I insist. Come on. <laughs> okay. How are you? <clears throat> All right, Captain. What are we looking at? There. So? Big skull shaped island, what? Big island. No skull. That's gotta be it. The battalion. <laughs> That's optimistic considering everything. You know, it is just us here. You're allowed to feel just a little bit of excitement over this. I'll get excited when we get Alcazar's noose off your neck. Come on. <laughs> okay. I said okay. No, 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 no. Your okays are never just okay. It usually means the opposite of okay. Oh, cheat. Time for a little oh shit uh, sit here. Rafe? Who the hell else? Ah, shit. That's what I said. Alright, fancy friends, we've come full circle from the prologue. We've actually seen the events that led up to the big boat crash that we saw in the beginning of the game. Hopefully that means from here forward we're going to see a little bit more action. For me personally, all the puzzle solving and dialogue is interesting, but it's not exactly compelling gameplay, especially since there's been so much of it so far. So hopefully next week we'll get into a little bit more action. But for now, thank you so much for joining me. Stick with me, and I'll stick with you. Take care, everybody. And remember the rules. Fancy hats only.